Hey everyone, well, here it is. My new and improved jib crane. Hopefully it's will be my last incarnation of it. I put a lot of work in it. As you may remember from this video, I created a jib crane using a tripod leg as the basis for the jib arm. And I love that design as it fulfilled my three big requirements for, for when I started out. It was lightweight, it was portable, and it achieved tilt. Well, as you can see from this video, it also exhibited some very undesirable conditions that made it using it a pain. I spent a long time trying to fix and correct those problems, but I eventually realized that the thing that made this design just so cool was the number one reason why it was failing. And that was by using a tripod leg as the jib arm in the first place. As much as I didn't want to admit it, I it was because of the tripod leg that I was getting so much play in all of my shots, both in wiggle woggling back and forth and also in that weird twisting that was happening. You know, a tripod leg is nothing more than several sections of tubes that nest inside each other so they can be compact and portable and yet strong enough to support the weight of the camera. Well, anytime you have two loose pieces of tubing that fit together at a joint, you're going to have some kind of play. It's never going to be perfectly tight. And with a tripod leg, you actually have several joints along its length. And for my design, I even added to, to those joints by connecting two legs together. Well, after you count for all of those joints, you're going to have some considerable play from one end of the tube all the way to the, the other. It also didn't help that the aluminum used to make these legs is very thin walled. And at the end where the, the camera mounted was the thinnest tube with the thinnest walled aluminum. You know, another factor that uh, con contributed considerably to the play was the fact that I was using a cabling system for the tilt. And as you recall, I was using very large roller skate wheels as the pulleys. And in order to accommodate them, I had to increase the distance from where the pivot was and to, to the arm. And I even compounded that further by adding washers, spacers, and bearings. So I had to scrap the whole concept of using a tripod leg and start over. I basically kept the same design though, um, but I'm using different materials for the arm and for the tilting mechanism. And I still have them mounted to the side of the tripod head so that I can get maximum vertical height without having to increase the length of the arm. Um, as you can see here, I have replaced the, the tripod leg with a long square tube of aluminum. This is very rigid and made with very thick walled aluminum. It's not going to twist with the weight of the camera. But in keeping with my desire to keep this uh, um, portable, this big long tube had its own challenges. Uh, in order to keep this portable, I had to cut it in half. Now, this created a joint. And as I talked about before, anytime you have a joint, you're going to have play. So I placed another square tube inside of it that was a smaller diameter to keep things more rigid. But like I said before, you can't ever get anything that's going to be perfectly tight. So I had to play. And not only that, it actually was very crooked, um, no matter how tight I made it. So I decided to add something on the outside to keep things more rigid. I took two pieces of angled aluminum and mounted them opposite each other at the joint. And not only is it now very, very straight, it is just as strong as if there was no joint there at all. So this basically erased the possibility of play because of the joint. And because of its strength, there is no twisting. Very happy about that. I replaced the steel cable with this small flat aluminum bar. And it mounts to the holes that are already in there, uh, already at the, the L brackets. Um, but this isn't perfect either because there's only about four inches between the distance of, of, the, of the, the arm and the bar. That limits my maneuvering ability for tilting at the upper and lower positions. Um, this can be remedied by having larger L, L brackets or maybe maybe customizing, custom making my own brackets. Um, but I'm not too worried about it. This still gives me some maneuverability at the top and the bottom, but it's limited. I also solved my monitoring problems that I was having with this design. As you recall from my first video, I had it mounted to the side of the L brackets and it tilted right along with everything else up there. Well, that made using it very difficult when trying to use tilting tilting shots. Well, I thought about mounting 
fit to one of my tripod legs, but then it might get in the way if I were trying to do some panning or sweeping motions with, with the jib crane. And so I thought, you know, at the, whenever I'm tilting the, the tripod at the head, I could I might be able to mount something to the head itself um, somewhere, but there's only a very small section on my tripod head that doesn't move around. And I really didn't want it to ruin anything, um, so I decided not to do that. So I decided to do something else. I stuck with my original idea of using the L brackets. Rather than securing it the tripod from the bottom, I decided to secure it from the top and let it just hang down. Initially, I used uh, some large screen cl uh, spring clamps to do this, but I knew that wasn't going to be a good solution, uh, nor a very good looking one. So I actually cracked open the case of the monitor um, and drilled two holes at the top and put two bolts in from the inside out and then added brackets that I made myself using a, a flat piece of aluminum bar. I secured those with nylock nuts and then I cut the bolts to allow for the room of the center bolt. I used this U-bolt and this nylon pulley to connect the monitor to the jib crane and allow it to swing freely. I clamped it to a piece of aluminum tube which fits over the end of the L bracket and I secured those with a few bolts and now it allows me to, to tilt and, never, and move around without um, the uh, monitor getting in the way. I improved the viewing angle somewhat by mounting a flat aluminum bar to the bottom and then adding washers for weights, which does indeed uh, tilt it slightly. More weights would probably make it, make it better, but I can always add those later. The addition of the, the, the weights also decreases the amount of sway that I get. The, the whole unit uh, happens whenever I'm moving around. Besides needing a sunshade hood, uh, which is easily made and mounted, the only thing that, that, that is bad about using this monitor is that it's not really that portable. It requires AC power. I do have a small marine battery and an inverter I can use to, to do it in the field if necessary, but those are a pain in the butt to use. Um, I plan on replacing this monitor with a, a nice seven inch one that uses batteries very soon. And I'll come up with a mounting solution for that one when the time comes. So this is it in a, in a nutshell. It's lightweight, it's truly portable, and it still achieves tilt. Um, and it's so small enough it fits into my little shotgun uh, case. I can fit everything into a shotgun case except for the monitor, so I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks better than my old design. I'm really not going to feel very, very self-confident or self, um, uh, in, I'm not going to feel insecure by having this out in the field. Um, I'm also, I, the thing though is it does cost a lot more than my other design did. I spent about $38 total in the aluminum. Um, and uh, the U bolt probably costs about two bucks. I, I actually already had it from a different project, as well as the nylon pulley. Actually, I tried to use the nylon pulley as as the pulley for my my original jib crane with the, the cable, but it didn't work very well. So I think if you, including the the the, the tripod head, the tripod legs, and all the stuff you see here except for the monitor. Um, you probably spend at less than 60 bucks for this whole thing, uh, which is still cheaper than, than most of your gift cranes you can buy that don't even that don't even come with a, a, a tripod. Anyway, let me know what you think about this. Uh, please leave comments. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, when I when I do get the uh, the new monitor, I probably will, will mount, show a little video of how I mounted it. But other than that, I think I'm pretty much done with this design. It works. I'm pretty happy with it and uh, it does what I need it to do. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.